Hi there guys, this is Carrie from Copilot at gocopilot.org. And in this instructional video, we're gonna be looking at one of the ways you can use the Revolution Slider plugin in WordPress, one of my very favorite plugins. Now, typically I use this plugin most often for slideshows on a homepage of a website. Um, but in this video, we're going to look at how you can use that very same slider plugin to create beautiful galleries uh, the next time you have event photos for your nonprofit or some other group of photos that you'd like to share either on a web page or on a blog post on your WordPress website. So as you can see, I'm already logged into the dashboard and this is one of the development sites that I have for one of my clients. So to create this photo gallery, what you're gonna do is go down to Revolution Slider. And once we've got that loaded, we're gonna collect, click on uh, create new slider. It's really pretty easy to do. And what I'm gonna do is just call this Gala Gallery, because these are photos from their most recent gala. And what I'm gonna do here is, you can see here that like obviously, um, there are a ton of revolution slider settings. So what I recommend you do is um, create a template actually that you can use in the future of different type of galleries so that you don't have to kind of recreate the wheel every single time you create a new gallery of this type. So this is kind of kind of serve as the template for this type of gallery going forward. So um, what, I'm, what I like to do is put things on shuffle mode um, so that you know it's not always the you know same photo coming up first every time you uh, visit this page. And then I'm also gonna go through and remove some of the appearance settings that I think are kind of annoying. Um, I don't really like this shadow thing, so we're gonna get rid of that. Um, I don't also particularly like the timer line. I find that distracting, so I'm gonna hide that. And I'm also gonna zoom down here and remove this navigation item that has um, bullets. And why I'm removing that is because if you have like a million photos in the slideshow, there's gonna be a bullet for each one of those photos at the bottom of the slideshow. And if you have 20 pictures, obviously that gets a little annoying. All right, so then now that I've got those settings taken care of, what we're gonna do is go over here to um, the grid width and height. Those settings are what determine the proportions of the slideshow on uh, the page of your website. So generally speaking, if you are, if you have sort of a standard size proportioned website, um, the size that you want is probably gonna be 600 by 400. And what this is gonna give you is a slideshow that's in a landscape format. Um, so FYI, if you have a bunch of photos that are in portrait format, um, they might look a little weird. You might have to do some editing in order for them to look perfect in your slideshow if you're using this particular plugin. So just, you know, be warned of that. All right, so we've got our basic settings set up here. So what I'm gonna do is now create slider by hitting that button there. All right, the slider is successfully created. Now we get to actually add photos to this particular slider. And um, they allow you to do this en masse, which is really wonderful. It saves a lot of time. So what I'm gonna do is kind of walk you through that. So, you know, as you can see, you can obviously, you know, retrieve photos that you've already uploaded to your site. Um, However, most of the time, the stuff that you want is probably not gonna be there already. Uh, what you can do is go to the folder of photos on your local computer, and then um, you can actually mass select. So if you're on a, a PC, you can hit shift and kind of grab things. Um, I think it's control click if you are on an Apple or Mac. And once you've got all your wonderful, beautiful, shiny people selected, you can click open. And what you can see is it automatically, you know, sucks everything up to the media library, begins uploading things, which is great. Now, one of the things that I'm gonna tell you while this thing is uploading is that um, at this point, you may experience some, some problems. Um, WordPress by default, has a setting that limits the size of the photo that you can upload to the media library. Now, this is actually a wonderful thing um, because what 
WordPress is trying to do is prevent you from having images on your site that are frankly just too big um, for display on websites. Uh, you know, things that are going to bog down how quickly your, your site loads, things like that. So if you notice, if you're uploading things and you ever get an error over here in this uploading section of this media library, what that means is you need to take a step back and down size the size of those photos. And I have a different video that I'm going to do that will show you how to do that using different tools. Um, so, you know, stay tuned for that. Okay. So now all of our beautiful, shiny, happy people are all uploaded. And you'll notice that because I, you know, bulk uploaded these, all of the photos that I just uploaded have this little check marks um, on them, excuse me, check mark on them. So they are pre-selected. And that means that they're really ready to go. They're kind of grouped right now. Um, if you want to remove some, you can just, you know, click it to reselect. Oop, I deselected everything. Okay, don't do that. Um, but yeah, you can again, click control or shift, excuse me, on your PC to sort of mass select things if you want. Okay, great. So I've got a handful of those selected. I'm going to hit insert and that should load all of those things momentarily. Yep, 17 slides created. Great, and if I give it a second, they should show up here. Now, um, cool features of this plugin, you can kind of drag and drop things into different positions. Now, since we selected um, the sort of shuffle mode, you know, the order of the pictures actually doesn't really matter. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. But, you know, as you can see, you do have the ability to copy things, delete them. You know, so as I was saying, these uh, portrait photos probably won't show up so great. If, so if I wanted to delete those at those points and then go back to the drawing board, re-edit them so that they're in a landscape format and then re-upload them, that actually probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, but I'm just going to pretend that they're how I like it. Um, so what I'm going to do here is uh, close this out. And that should bring me back to here. We can go to the settings thing here. And so what I'm going to do to insert this into my page now is grab this slider short code, copy that. And we're going to go to the page on the website that I would like to add this slideshow to. And I'm just going to grab something random because it doesn't really matter. So we're going to pretend that we want this on the uh, gala page here. All right, so that page is loaded. So what I'm going to do is simply put it at the top of the page. So I'm pasting in that short code and I can save draft in this case. Um, save draft is available to me because I haven't published this yet. And so I've done that. I'm going to preview those changes. So a preview version of this page will pop up when I click that. And I can see if the slideshow is how I like it. It's looking pretty good except for, you know, those portrait photos, like I said. Um, but yeah, the rest of the photos are looking nice. Um, you know, these transitions, by the way, if you don't like them, you can change them. So FYI, uh, Revolution Slider kind of has too many options, I think, in that regard. Um, but you can, like I was saying, absolutely change that. So that is how you make a Revolution Slider gallery for photos from an event or any kind of, you know, instance when you have multiple photos that you just like to share as a slideshow on a page on your website. All right, thanks for tuning in guys.